Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and today we're going to be making this pattern in Procreate. If you're a regular here, feel free to use the timestamps to skip to the beginning of the tutorial. And if you're new here, then welcome to the Pattern Makers Toolkit. It's free to join and it's packed full of fun goodies and resources like templates and brushes to help you on your pattern making journey. And it's where you can find the beautiful ombre colour palette I'll be using today. This pattern is fairly simple to make and I know I always say this, as long as you're careful with your snapping, it's kind of a beginner tutorial. So let's get started in a 3600 pixel canvas at 300 dpi. And we're going to fill our first layer with our first colour. I'll use this dark one for now. And tap and fill the layer. Then we're going to tap transform. You're going to rotate it 45 degrees, making sure you've got bicubic as your interpolation method there. And then tap fit to canvas. Then we need to tap off it and back onto it again so that we can actually adjust the height, not the diagonal length. Tap on here, unlink the ratio, and we're going to make it 900 pixels wide and 1800 pixels high. I had to think about that then. So we'll have four repeats of these across and two repeats down. So let's bring this one, make sure it's snapped into the corner there. Then we can duplicate this, tap transform and snap one next to it, which will also snap with the vertical and horizontal center of the canvas. Then we can duplicate tap transform again and then snap this one along next to it duplicate one more time and snap that one over there then I'm going to group these together so swipe right on each one and tap group then we can duplicate the group tap transform and we're going to snap this one down to the bottom there we go so that's these two rows we also need to duplicate them to fill these middle rows as well unless you just want to have a straight two color pattern with a different color for the background, for example, like that would be one way of making a pattern like this. But this one is going to be all kinds of randomized colors. So just put the background color back to white. And I'm going to duplicate this group again, tap transform, snap it to the middle, and then snap it along so that it fills these spots in there. Then we can duplicate this group again, tap transform and bring it so that we fill this last spot there. And if we open this group up, the one that's got the other half diamond in it, I'm going to put that one in there with it and then we can delete this. So that's our middle row there. And then we can duplicate this middle row, tap transform and snap it to the bottom here. You should see some faint little lines there where the edges of the shape are that should give you a reference as well, but this should snap to the bottom. And then duplicate this one again, the one that's got the half shapes in it. Duplicate and bring that up to the top. And now comes the, <laughs> the tricky part of um, filling all the colors in. What I would do is hide these ones to start with. So we have these. We'll work on the colours for these first, then when we put those back in, we'll be able to see the contrast of the other ones. So I am going to open up these groups, alpha lock them all. Probably when you're doing this, it would have been smarter to alpha lock these right at the beginning, and then we'd always be duplicating an alpha locked one, and we had, wouldn't have to do it with all of them, but never mind. Um, so one, once you have all of these alpha locked you can then just fill each layer with a different color you could go for something um, uniform so you could do alternating ones you could do rows um, or you could just try and go for something a bit random which is what i'm going to attempt to go for with this so i will just speed through me puzzling out where to put these colors So I've got those colour fills in, now I can put these in and fill the rest. When you're working on these ones, don't forget that these corner ones all need to be the same colour so that they match up and it repeats properly and the top and bottom all need to be the same colour and these need to be the same colour. OK, 
Okay, so I think that's how I want all the colours. Once you have all of your colours decided on, we can collapse all of these groups down. Maybe group those together. And then swipe down with three fingers, copy all, swipe down again and paste. And because we have possibly got some like areas of semi-transparency in here, what I'm going to do is duplicate this several times just to knock out any transparency between those. There we go. And then we can test if this tile is repeating. So add a layer underneath. I'll fill it with this colour and if I invert that it should be nice and dark. So we can tap transform on this, snap this up to the middle, duplicate, tap transform, snap this over to this side, pinch those together, duplicate, tap transform and snap that down there, zoom in and that's all looking okay, there's no like seams in there and everything seems to be all matching up properly. So that's how this is looking and repeat. I'm going to make it one step smaller because these patterns always look kind of cooler on a smaller scale. And don't forget you can find the colour palette that I've used for this over in the Pattern Makers Toolkit. Before I tell you a bit more about the Pattern Makers Toolkit though, I want to give you a quick tip on how to adjust this colour palette if you want to choose your own one. So come over here to the colour palettes, take a screenshot crop it down to just that there, then tap done and tap copy and delete. Then I'll hide this so it's a bit more clear what we're working on. So we've just got that white background. I'm going to swipe down with three fingers and paste and then we've got an image of our screenshot there. If you want to change this to a different set of colours, come up here to your adjustments, go to hue, saturation and brightness and then you can adjust the hue slider and also the saturation and brightness if you want to get a different set of colours that are a nice ombre graduation and they will all follow each other nicely. So if you want to make this pattern in different colours that's how to use the colour palette that I've given you, but make it your own. And then you can, we tap done on here, then you can add a new palette and just colour swatch all these and drop them in here, which is what I did with this one, which is one I'll be using in a future tutorial. So there you go. That's how to switch up and get a different kind of ombre palette if you want to use this one as a guide for yours. So let's delete that and you can find out a bit more about the Pattern Makers Toolkit now. Pattern Makers Toolkit is a bit like a Patreon group except it's all free. I send out one and only one email per month with a freebie in there to help you on your pattern making journey as well as early access links to some of my YouTube tutorials and full access to all the assets in the resource library plus members get 10% off all the canvases and brushes in my Etsy store. New for 2025, the email also has a set of seasonal prompts each month for helping you plan, illustrate and upload in advance for the key shopping dates in your print-on-demand stores like Spoonflower. If you'd like to join, just click on the link up here or in the description. If you had fun making this geometric pattern, you will love my Skillshare class, Circle Pattern Play in Procreate. It's a seven day creative challenge where we explore loads of fun patterns just using one simple circle. It's all about sparking creativity and experimenting with things like layouts and color palettes. If you're not on Skillshare yet, you can grab 30 days for free with the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe here for your weekly dose of pattern making fun. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.